Breaking news. Yoko, Cyborg Mig, Cyborg Bangalo, Fire Blaster, Raven, Heinz, Jake, Ben Loman, Classic Geek and Loud, Dark Bowser, Punk, Evil Caillou, Bad Spear Guy, Bad Fly Guy, Buzz Buzzard, and Classic Butter Stotcher Swartizuku Midori and Ochaka Urakad Ravika Boghouse. Here's what happened. <laughs> Oh my godness. Now more wanted as usual, Izuku Midori and Ochaka Uraka both survived. Stay tuned for more to come. Just why? <sighs> and it's really thought of going on and on. Izuku Midori and Ochaka Uraka both survived. The beating is not enough to kill them. If this would have happened, it would have increased to 1886, but, glad they both survived. Don't worry, we're at a house at Karen after we went to take a look at a view at Pluto while we're in Karen. That voice from Earth is loud back at Bad Matthew Koopa Jr. for hire number 32. You know, while we were seeing Pluto at Karen, we could hear it. Of course, if someone were in space, hearing any sound waves would be the least of our problems. But of course, Karen is so far away from Earth or Mars, we couldn't hear it normally. Normally in deep space. The large empty areas between stars and planets, there are no molecules to vibrate, so we would have unable to hear from Earth. If that's so, that would have made sense. Ah, uh, guys, I'm not showing every footages that we missed, but there's something happening at Yoko for higher number 6. Oh really? What could it be? Check this out. This is the footage of the and we're now getting attacked. But both of them survived, however. Wait, I can confirm there's now 1884 reanimations total. Ah, uh, oh, that sounds like there's too much reanimations back on Earth. All I can say is yikes. 1884 sounds like a lot. But they are so far away, like billions of kilometers away. In addition, Jacob Harrington has 10,000 subscribers a few days ago. Really? HMM, maybe I should take a look. Okay. He reached 1,000 on the 19th of October 2019, 2,000 on the 27th of November 2019, 3,000 on the 14th of March 2020, 4,000 on the 27th of April 2020, 5,000 on the 29th of June 2020, 6,000 on the 14th of September 2020, 7,000 on the 4th of December 2020. 8,000 on the 26th of February 2021, 9,000 on the 16th of June 2021, and 10,000 on the 19th of October 2021. Wow! Then that's fantastic to know. Wait, what? He reached 10,000 subs on October 19th, 2021. Impressive. So, he reached 10,000 subscribers on the 19th of October 2021? Huh? Well then, that's fantastic. But, on the other hand, you might want to check it out on the Dr. Mario World's page. Wait what? Really? HMM, I'm going to check it out. Found it. Wait what? End of service notice? HMM. I going to check it out. Oh god. I don't really like the sound of this. Let's read it. End of service notice. Thank you for playing the Dr. Mario World game. The Dr. Mario World game service will end on November 1st, 2021. We would like to extend our sincere thanks to everyone who has played the game since it began service on July 10th, 2019. Service and date and time, Monday, November 1st. 2021 at 6 a.m. UTC. Furthermore, diamonds will no longer be available for purchase from July 28, 2021. After the end of service. If you start up the Dr. Mario World game after the game's service has ended, an end of service notification will be displayed and you will not be able to play the game. 
you will be able to look back at your play history in Dr. Mario World Memories, which is a web page that will become available after the game's service ends. More information regarding the end of service. Please check the in-game notices for details on other processes that will be in place for the game's end of service. Why are you shocked Alex C. Cooper? I hate to admit it, but Dr. Mario World's game service is ending in about one week. No, why did it stop ending in about a week? About to miss that game. I'm sorry, but they have to end the game service. Also, haven't you here? Windows 10 is released a few weeks ago. Really? Ooh, Windows 10. What? Is it finally been released? Holy God. It is? Holy cow. It has been released. Guys, Windows 11 was released to the public on the 5th of October 2021 as a free upgrade via Windows Update and Windows 11 Installation Assistant on eligible devices running Windows 10 that was announced on the 24th of June 2021. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. Did you hear that Jacob Cooper? Windows 11 was released to the public on the 5th of October 2021 as a free upgrade. What? Wow. I can't believe it was released a few weeks ago. Speaking of which, how do you feel when Dr. Mario World's game service is ending? I don't think I'm happy about this. Oh. Well how about you Jackie Cooper? I won't be happy about this. Once it's shut down, we won't be able to play it whatsoever. Okay. And as of now, something unexpected is going to happen in the finale of General Guy for Hire, because after Jamie is killed after General Guy betrayed Jamie for good sign he's ruining the world, Misaki is going to do something, but I won't tell you. Hopefully this does not ruin the plan. HMM. I wonder what Misaki will do. Hopefully she won't be assaulted, or whatever I hope she will not betray the non-troublemaker since Misaki is not a villain. I'm still a great roarer at least, and so does me with Justin's voice, but he's still reanimated. Based on a conservation about what Stinky P just said, Jamie is ruining the whole world. Good thing we move here. Last time, on the 14th of October 2020, I taught Leamy Matthew Cooper Jr. how to roar, followed by Matthew Cooper Jr. on the 29th of October 2020, and Lemmy Matthew Cooper in 2021. I don't know about this whole Jamie and Miss Hacky thing. But I do know T Jamie is only trying to help the employees get their gold and Jamie cloned them because he was tired on Evius Diesel being on hold for jobs since what happened in 2019. Super Mario Plush will might make the finale after Stinky Pete for Hire 200 comes out, but it is unknown when it'll come out. Also, most of the Koopalings, Max, Paul Jerkins, Meteorite, Buddy Bro, and Ruby in the real universe are still reanimated, well, that is, until the finale of General Guy for Hire, but, that's not exactly the case for a different one. And so does the rest of them. Jamie is ruining the entire world. Well, General Guy betrayed him at least. If General Guy doesn't betray him, they would have break up with their relationship, but glad that didn't happen. And since the rude employee are still doing assaults, we hate them even 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 more. Yeah! So did I! But then, if the finale comes, I will actually hate them forever. No, I'm not talking about you three. What I'm saying is, if the finale comes, I will actually hate the brute for his forever. And after Daniel got betrayed them, he was right. Team is ruined the entire world. And nope, this series will not stop there. It will keep on going. If the reanimations will be brought back to normal and have all the people saved, but then becomes more extreme. I can't even imagine what's going to happen once it begins. I'm guessing it'll probably be a long long episode since the battle's huge. It could end happy after General Guy learns his lesson. He'll give up for good and let everyone live in peace. Oh really? I don't know. You know, ever since I moved to here on December 1st 2020, I realized that, there's too many reanimations back on Earth. <laughs> Wait what? But why? Well, ever since he killed many people, I realized this I'm not handing this and there's too much. What? So it's time for me to depart. And at the same day, I moved to Mars.
this is where my house will be. Okay, in, three, two, one. There, my house was built thanks to Beyond Logic. Let's go inside, I have a lot of work to do. Wait, so you move around to the purpose 2020? Yep, just before the other JHK and Matthew Koopa Jr. moves the same place as me. And have a new heart, that the Mario World game circuit will be ended in about a week. Wait what? Oh crap. I can't believe it will end so soon. Now I'm about to miss that game surface. But the good one is Windows 11 is released. Nice. Wait. I remember now there's 1884 animations total. What? Uh oh, that's too much back on Earth. Now with too many reanimations, the world is in great danger, but glad we moved here months ago. What do you mean? I mean, you're right. If there's too many reanimation, it sounds like a big threat on Earth. Yeah, ever since there's too many reanimations with all of the assaulting crap going on, we moved here ever since on the 27th of December 2020. Also, I have good news and bad news. Now, good news is Windows 11 was released. Oh wow. my god, this is awesome. That's great. Attack. But the bad news is, now the Mario World's game service is ending in a week. Wait, what? Oh no. That's terrible. Oh no. Now the deadline for the game's service is getting close. I can't believe it'll end in one week. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe Dr. Mario World's game service is ending in one week. For that, I'm not happy with this. <laughs> <laughs> oh JHK. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that Dog to Mario World's game service is ending soon. Yeah, we are not able to play this game at a deadline. For this, I'm sad. I can't believe they were about to end this game's service. Yeah, but I'm sad they're ending it. Could you comfort me? JHK, I'm terribly sorry that DR Mario World's game service is ending so soon we are all going to remember the game. I know we will not be able to play that game after the 1st of November 2021, and I know you are sad to see it ends, but, please don't cry. Sniff. It's not even fair to have Dr. Mario World end. Thank you. And you're right, we remember this game once the 1st of November 2021 hits. No prep. And yes, we're going to remember the game once it ends. Okay. Hmm, I wonder when the finale gonna come. Hmm, maybe sometime in 2022 is what I'm thinking. Maybe, but in the meantime, this series will continue.